Thanks for tuning in to Backyard Broadheads. We're going to take a look at a couple of youth compound bows. I went the cheap route. I got the Barnett Vortex first from Walmart, made in China, under $200. We took it to the bow shop, and my stepson is around eight years old, average size. The draw weight was going to be too high, and the draw length was going to be too long. So while we were there, they had a black Matthews hammer. On this one, your draw weight can go all the way down to 16 pounds, and that's about what he needed. And we were able to get him a draw length that he needed. And this bow comes with a lifetime warranty to the original owner. And it is also made in the United States. So the Barnett's gonna be going back to Walmart. I'm sure there's some people that that Barnett would work just fine for, but let's take a look at the compound bows. So this is the Barnett Vortex on the right, and this is the Matthews Hammer on the left. So, I mean, the Vortex feels solid. I think it would shoot just fine. I think it would last a long time. You would have good customer service. So, I mean, I'm sure they're selling these things. They wouldn't be in Walmart if they weren't selling. I don't really have any um, complaints about the bow, but it just wasn't gonna work for us. So you can see right here, you have a 21 to 27 inch draw length on the Barnett. And with the Matthews, you have 17 to 29. So that is, it goes down shorter than the Barnett and it goes out longer than the Barnett. Draw weight of the Vortex, you have 19 to 45 pounds. And with the Matthews, you have 16 to 70. So it goes lower and it goes higher than the range on the Vortex. So with the Matthews, you buy this for somebody that's eight years old, they can be 15 years old still shooting it because the freaking thing goes up to 70 pounds. Now at some point, if the person that's shooting this bow gets to be six foot four inches tall, then the draw length isn't gonna go out far enough on this one. So at that point they would need a bow with a longer draw length. But that's the only thing that's gonna make somebody outgrow the Matthews hammer. And let's take a look at the Matthews. So the Matthews has, down on the cam, there's all these different holes. And you can see the bottom of the screw. The screw comes in from this side. But in order to adjust your draw length, you're just moving from hole to hole. With the Vortex, there's a little insert on the cam. And I think this is it right here. And that has to be actually taken out and switched out. They give you a bunch of different ones. I think those are for your different draw length or whatever they're for. It's gonna be more difficult to adjust the Barnett than to adjust the Matthews. Now there are things on each of these bows that do require you to use a bow press. So it's not all stuff that anybody can do at home. With the hammer, we did have to buy a sight. It was only about 25 or $30. We had to buy the peep sight. I think the rubber hose was free. We had to buy the rest for the Matthews, whereas the Vortex came with the rest. It came with this sight. This, this sight and this sight, they're both adjustable, up and down and in and out. Let's take a look at the other side and let's talk about where you can get these things. If they are available on Amazon, then they are also linked in the description below. If you are purchasing on Amazon, make sure you check eBay first for a lower price. While you're on eBay, there's Luna. I recommend only purchasing these things new if you're buying from eBay. I've had some bad experiences lately with on eBay with used stuff, but new stuff I think you should be good. You know, go ahead and check the seller's feedback rating. With Amazon, if you're getting it from Amazon, it's pretty much going to be new. And Amazon's return policy is usually pretty freaking easy. If you want any more detailed specs on these bows, there are links in the description below. Thanks for tuning in to Backyard Broadheads and please let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. From Backyard Broadheads, these are heart drop hangers. There's a heart drop five in one for most Raven crossbows. 
and the Heart Trap 5-in-1 R26 for the Raven R26. You can check them out on eBay or from BackyardProducts.com. Both links are in the description below. This is another accessory for your Raven crossbow, the 4-in-1 Lite. It attaches and detaches in seconds. It's an extremely level bipod. It's a hanger. It's a kickstand. It helps you with caulking and decaulking your crossbow. It helps eliminate death wobble from decaulking. And then whenever you're in your tree stand, it helps stabilize the crossbow on your lap. And you can also rest it up on the shooting rail to keep your crossbow off of the rail and protect your crossbow.